every five years, a duty falls upon the shoulders of other South Africans. This is a duty whose importance transcends, transcends all other. This duty is the cornerstone of our democratic reality, the bedrock upon which our political system is built. It is a duty of electing public representatives to the National Assembly and provincial legislatures. These representative bodies will cumulatively guide the course of our national destiny. These legislative bodies hold, therefore, an immense national responsibility to fashion a policy, a policy trajectory that fosters national development. To give effect to this constitutionally enshrined duty, which is the heartbeat of our Bill of Rights, the, the Electoral Commission was created and subsists to this moment. As the Commission, we do understand the depth of our responsibility as an institutional facilitator of those rights which make governance of the country a reality. Alive to the enormity of our national responsibility, we stand here today infused with an indomitable spirit and unshakable de uh, determination, ready to embark on the journey of delivering the general elections of national and provincial legislatures next year. We simply refer to these elections as NPE 2024. We are ready to embark on this constitutional journey because of the eminent conclusion of the terms of our current legislatures. The sixth National Assembly and the nine provincial legislatures' terms of office conclude in the middle of May 2024. A seventh parliament of the democratic era must be elected within 90 days from that date. Hence, the window period for our national election stretches from May to the middle of August in 2024. The authority for setting the election date rests with the President of the Republic after consulting with the Commission. Those consultations have commenced, but yet to be concluded. A similar framework obtains in respect of provincial legislatures, wherein the provincial, provincial premiers are entrusted responsibility to call and set a date of election after consulting with the Commission. We anticipate that, we anticipate that as has been the case in the last three decades, that the date of the provincial election will be harmonized with the national election. Today, we, the Electoral Commission, stand before you to confirm that plans to deliver the general elections are underway for the earliest possible election date in the constitutional window period. But let us not forget that NPE 2024 carries a profound historical significance. In 2024, South Africa marks an extraordinary milestone, 30 years of electoral democracy, a testament to the strength and resilience of our nation. Our national credentials as, a na as an electoral democracy are fortified with each ensuing election. Surely, 2024, will be no exception. Equally historic is the dawn of a new era in our electoral politics, where one, one where independent candidates can contest for seats in our national and provincial legislatures. A reality set in motion by the Electoral Amendment Act, which was signed into law in April of this year. Needless to say, this change has significantly affected our institution, sparking numerous revisions to our business operations. At the high level, some of the implications of the revisions to the electoral system are as follows. 
as a novel reality, individuals not affiliated to political parties can stand as candidates for legislatures at both national and provincial level. Our supporting information and communication technology applications have been or are being rewritten anew. This includes the candidate nomination system as well as the result system. The portal for the capturing of supporting signatures for unrepresented parties and independent candidates is ready for deployment. We are eagerly awaiting the outcome of the Constitutional Court's application relating to the quantum of signatures before public release. The Commission has set in motion a comprehensive roadmap or a critical path that underpins our preparations for 2024 elections. We address salient aspects of, the, of that plan here under. Our framework for electoral administration is predicated on the delimitation of voting districts, which are a nucleus for the delivery of electoral services. Necessarily, leading to a general election, voting districts had to be re reviewed concomitantly with voting stations. Voting stations must be cho chosen to facilitate easy access to the communities they serve. Consequent to this review, and with the consultation of municipal party lies and committees, 23,269 voting stations have been determined for NPE 2024. In response to the changing legal landscape around election, as well as the requirement to retain an address of a voter upon registration, the Electoral Commission introduced voter management devices in 2021. The VMD is the technological mainstay for the delivery of the impending elections. There will be a live connection with the majority of voting stations through an access point network. The possibility of a live connection will serve to improve the administrative efficiency of the voting process whilst fortifying the necessary controls. Just under 40,000 VMDs are on hand for use in the forthcoming registration and election events. 